Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will share with you three Valentine's Day DIYs. Before we get started, I quickly want to mention that this video is part of the Hello Love Challenge hosted by Tammy at the Rusted Willow and Ellie at the DIY from House to Home. And I have the honor to be their co-host this time. Down in my description box, you will find links to their channels along with a link to the playlist of this challenge for more Valentine inspiration. So stitch your folders. For my first DIY, I will make a wreath using this wooden hoop. I will cover it up with nautical rope, just twisting it around, putting some hot glue at the beginning, a little dot every now and then, and then at the end. Here I am, almost finished and my nautical rope is very very tangled but I will fix that and I have a little gap there in my hoop and I will put that nautical rope with hot glue around to close that gap like you see me do here I will cut off the rope so I have a little bit extra so I can create a hanger like that just a little loop hot gluing it and I will eventually cut off the excess now for the decorations I will use this wooden heart that I purchased years and years and years ago never used I want to change the look of that top part a bit so I am just sketching out where I need to cut it and I want to lose that hole as well so I'm using this cutting tool here just making smaller cuts it makes it easier to remove the smaller pieces and the same on the other side and once I'm done I will just take my sanding block and sand off the edges to make it all nice and smooth. I will put my heart right there on the bottom of my wreath and I will attach it with some nails. So I'm just marking out so I will make it straight and then I take just a small tiny drill bit, drill through, not only through the heart but down to that wooden hoop as well. On both sides like that, but it doesn't look very good with just the nails, so I will address that eventually, but first I will paint my heart and I have mixed some brown, some black, some gold color and a little bit of water as well to make it more like a stain. So I put it on with my paintbrush and just wipe off the excess with paper tissue like you see me do here. And once I'm happy with the result I go over with some black acrylic just on the edges while the other paint is still wet so I can easily mix them with a dry brush to create some more dimension to my heart.
Now I will address the nail heads and I will use a strip of this scrapbook paper and put it on like that. So it looks like the nails are there to keep this sign in place. And then I take this stamp with XOXO in a row and I will put some white acrylic paint onto it like you see me do here. Just a tiny touch, not too much to make it smudge. And I will stamp it on in the center of my paper strip there. Sorry for <laughs> covering the whole frame here. But there you go, you can uh, almost see it. Then I put it in place and uh, put the nails through that piece of paper. Like you see me do here. And once I'm done with that, I will put the nails through the holes in the wreath form and just hammer them into place. And once I'm happy and it's steady in place, I will cut off the excess paper. It will turn a little bit white on the edges, so I will cover that up with just a tiny bit of black acrylic. Looking good so far, but I need to embellish it a little bit further and I will do that with these green picks, eucalyptus and something else, boxwood or something. So I take a piece and just hot glue it into place like that. And the darker green one in the center. I will tie them down a little bit because they are all over the place at the moment. And then I will put on some cute burlap ribbons as well. If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Marika and on this channel I do a lot of DIYs, thrift flips, trash to treasure, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really. So if this is up your alley, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join my YouTube family. As you can see, I chose the green ribbon and the natural one. Just hot glue them into place and uh, place them where I want them and attach them with a dab of hot glue. And I am done with my cute rustic Valentine wreath. Et voila, here it is in my kitchen, looking very pretty I think. I will probably keep it until I put up a spring wreath. love how it turned out. Tell me what you think. For my second DIY, I will work with wood once again, as I did in a couple of videos ago. And I have this beautiful piece of uh, oak wood board. On the top there, it's, a, it's, it's rotten a little bit. So I will address that a little later. But first I will draw two hearts 
on my wooden piece just like that with the help of a cookie cutter. Hubby is assisting me today. He will cut out my heart shapes. It just makes a tiny, tiny hole with the drill, just big enough to fit that jigsaw. And then he carefully cuts them out. I will use the hearts that he cut out later in my next project. And here he is carving away the rotten part of uh, this wood board. It will make sort of a live edge, not really, but uh, sort of something similar. And here he is rasping away to get rid of most of the unevenness inside those hearts. And here he is using a grinder to make the edges round and it saves me so much time with otherwise sanding them to get that very nice rounded shape so he's using this grinder for that perfect now he has done his job and now it's my turn to do the final touches of this piece so I'm taking my electric sander and go over the whole piece back and front and once I am happy I will once again go inside those heart shapes with my rasp first a very a rough one and then a finer one and finally I will go over the whole piece with just sandpaper for the final touch a lot of sanding when you work with wood but it's so worth it at the end now I'm taking my natural oak stain and put it on with my paintbrush back and front inside the hearts everywhere and just wipe off the excess just with a tissue it's already oak but it will make the oak shine so much better. We will see all the wood grains. It will look so much better with that stain on. And the final thing I will do is to put two sawtooth hangers on the back so I can put it up in my kitchen. And here it is, looking so pretty. And I've just put a piece of eucalyptus hanging from one of the hearts. Tell me what you think. Now on to my third and final DIY. As I said, I will use those hearts that my hubby cut out from project number two. And here he is with the grinder, shaping the hearts, rounding the edges. And then I'm going in with my sanding block to do the finishing touches here to make them really, really soft to the touch. You can just uh, have those hard as they are and just put them in your decor. It's a cute little wooden heart, but I will go a little bit further. But first, I will take my natural oak stain and uh, make them even prettier. Same procedure here, putting on the stain with my paintbrush and wiping off the excess back and front. And you will see right here the difference between the two hearts. Gorgeous looking with that stain on. And I do the same with the other heart. So what will I do with these hearts? I will take a piece of rebar and use this metal pipe to be able to bend it. And this is hard work, I tell you that. And I will shape it into sort of a spiral. 
and then at the end I will put the end into that pipe and just make it straight so it will sit straight uh, with the heart on top eventually hubby is helping me here a little bit too I'm doing one and then he will do the second one for the second heart and here I have twined them together and he is welding them together in two places he actually don't need to do that they would have sit tied together anyways but well if you can so why not I'm trying out my heart see how I want them to sit on those rebars once I am happy we just mark where to drill like that and the second one as well and then we take a drill bit just the right size for those rebars to fit and hubby is doing the drilling here perfect they seem to fit and I am so happy look at that so now it's time to paint those rebars well, they look good as they are but I want them black so I'm taking a black matte spray paint and just spray on and I only did one coat and my heart and the rebar are going to sit in something and that something is a stone so we're just marking where to drill in the stone and we tried a couple of stones granite for example and that didn't work we just broke the stone in half but here we are lucky it worked like a charm and uh, I have also done another heart another wooden heart a slightly bigger but it will be a solitary heart so I put in a smaller stone like that and I am putting a strong adhesive in that hole and let it sit overnight and I do the same with the heart here is the heart putting that adhesive in the hole and put it on the rebar like that and here they are my beautiful hearts I love how they turned out so tell me what do you think of my creations today did you have a favorite let me know in the comments you know I love to read your comments and if you love this video and videos like this, consider subscribing and hit that like button as well. It will help my channel to grow and I can spend more time creating inspirational content for you. My aim is to upload one or two videos per week. If you want more Valentine inspiration straight away, just go down in my description box and hit that link to the playlist of this challenge. Just click and enjoy. Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.